Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is under increasing pressure with a war of words breaking out between himself and a settler group leader who's slamming the US, saying that President Donald Trump is no friend of Israel. This is plans to annex parts of the West Bank have stalled, with the US administration currently dealing with the protests in America. Now, Netanyahu hit back at the head of the Yesha Council, David El Hayani, the settler leader who also came out to say that Trump and his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, do not have Israel's security and settlement interests in mind, adding that the only thing that they're concerned about is planning the uh, elections coming up. Netanyahu then releasing a statement saying, I strongly condemn the words of the Yesha Council chairman, adding that Trump is a great friend of Israel. Now, those annexation plans are continuing to erode any kind of ties between the Palestinian Authority and Israel, with security officials from the PA saying that they expect a rise in lone wolf terror attacks. The PA adding that it will also stop allowing tax transfers from Israel, which traditionally make up a huge part of its budget. The economic situation in the Palestinian territories is already dire, with Middle East analysts calling the move nearly suicidal. Now, when the annexation announcement was made, the PA then said that all ties with Israel would be cut, including the important security coordination. He's the Director General of the Palestinian Peace Coalition and a former advisor to the PLO chairman, who says that the reaction on the Palestinian street will be nearly impossible to contain. Uh, there will not be uh, a sort of normal relationship and probably normality. Definitely nobody calls for violence, but uh, once there will be a sort of uh, a, decision, uh, a decision of annexation, this means automatically, actually, a Palestinian response. And a little earlier, we spoke to Palestinian security expert Mohammed Najib regarding the PA rejecting Israel's money. Uh, as I know, uh, the Palestinian Authority uh, is not pushing for violence, but because of the uh, annexation plan that will kill the dream of the Palestinians to have an independent state beside the state of Israel, this will lead them for uh, reactions, lone wolf attacks or uh, mass protestation. It's unclear right now how it will be, look like, but uh, this is an uh, ex existence a threat for the Palestinians who fought for and struggled for 50 de uh, years to have a Palestinian state. And now by the annexation plan, they see their dream uh, uh, came to its end. So that's the issue. And uh, it's clear on the, sort of the social media how the Palestinians across the West Bank express their anger to the annexation plan. Mm, certainly. And also, uh, we're hearing, uh, Mohammed about uh, the money, this tax revenue that goes uh, to Ramallah. Uh, what's happening there and how much does that prop up uh, the, uh, the economy there? Yeah, uh, both uh, the Minister of Civilian Affairs, Hussein sheikh and uh, government spokesperson Ibrahim Milham said in a statement Wednesday night that uh, they refuse uh, to receive the money because Israel has conditioned that by the resumption of the uh, security and uh, civilian coordination that was cut by President Abbas on 19 May. So the Palestinians said, if it is, this is the condition, we will not receive the, uh, this uh, money. This uh, money are important for the Palestinian Authority to enable the government to pay the salaries of uh, 170,000 public employees every month. And it depends on that. So it is, uh, will uh, uh, complicate the uh, uh, weak and the poor uh, economic and financial uh, crisis of the Palestinian Authority. And Mohammed, with these annexation plans currently on ICE, uh, with the US administration dealing with uh, other things such as these protests, uh, do you see that this cooperation and these ties between the PA and Israel have uh, any chance of being restored? Uh, President Abbas, what a condition. If Israel cancel the annexation plan, then he's ready to go back to the negotiation to resume the civilian and the security and the economic uh, coordination with Israel. But unless the decision by the Prime Minister made to uh, stop or to cancel, not to delay, to cancel the uh, security, uh, the annexation plan, uh, then uh, the uh, situation will continue as it is.